What's going on guys, Snake Eyes here. And yesterday I had a chance to play a little bit of MGO, which <laughs> to be completely honest, it seems like I've waited forever. <laughs> and I finally got a chance to play. It was amazing. Um, I met up with a few people and I had a chance to play with Ocelot, so I tried to play a little bit more serious just so I can get a little bit of Ocelot gameplay and kind of talk about how I feel about him personally. And um, so far, I think that he's actually pretty strong. Um, I haven't had a chance to play with Snake yet, so I really don't know what his loadouts are looking like. But um, definitely Ocelot's shield loadout, loadout is like probably the best one so far. I mean, you can go non-lethal if that's what you're trying to do. But for the most part, if you're just interested in killing, the shield uh, loadout is probably the best one. And mainly because of the support items. The five E-locators and uh, the three Fulton cannons are just amazing in Bounty Hunter. I mean, I, I played a custom match with these guys, and so our tickets were at 99 and at 30 minute matches. But by the end of the game, I had gotten like 63 uh, markings, which is crazy. And um, that just was a ton of experience uh helped out everybody the fulton cannons helped out uh where you just place them and kind of forget about them um and all in all ocelot is actually not that bad um what i was mainly interested in was getting some really dope ass ricochet shots and even though i did get some uh, none of them were really intentional, so it's not like I can sit here and pretend like everything was all me and I knew exactly what I was doing. Uh, in all honesty, most of that stuff was just blind luck. And to be completely honest, I didn't even notice some of the ones that I had gotten until I rewatched the footage and realized what it was that I guess had happened. And um, honestly, I think it's really cool. And I think once a lot of people start getting used to Ocelot, um, you are you are going to see some actual intentional ricochet shots that are just amazing. And um, just reviewing these maps and looking over them and whatnot, I can kind of see some areas where he can be useful. But um, for the most part, I just really wanted to show off some of this gameplay. It isn't the best, but I mean, at the same time, it is the first day and um, I'm still getting used to everything. But at the moment, I'm just really happy that I'm getting to play MGO again. Uh, it definitely feels like old times and um, I'm just really having a lot of fun. And it's been a really long time since I've played a multiplayer game and, you know, basically had fun as <laughs> uh, sad as that sounds. One thing that I will say, though, is I, I, I kind of think that the shield version of Ocelot is a little bit too strong. I don't think it's overpowered, uh, mainly because it's not like he's invincible it's not like you can't kill him when you pick it up when you pick up that loadout but uh, definitely having five elokes are just crazy i mean shit you didn't even get that much in mgo2 when you paid for it so to have five elokes now is just insane and anybody who knows their value is going to get a ton of benefit from them and um, basically every single time you die you get another five so i mean you throw them shits out all the time and like I said, I had gotten 63 or 60 something markings just from throwing those things out every single time I respawned. And I feel like the pistols do enough damage uh, that you don't really need to dual wield them. Uh, you still can in the shield loadout if you want to, but I feel like one is more than enough because they are really strong. I mean, one shot headshot, uh, two shots from close range and three shots to kill at a distance is really strong. And these guns are pretty accurate as well, as long as you don't spam the shots. Um, every single time you pull the trigger, if the enemy is in your crosshairs, you're more than likely going to hit them. And even though once people start becoming more competitive, um, I'm pretty sure you're not going to be seeing any special characters around. Um, I feel like right now he is good if you do get him and uh, you might as well use him to his fullest advantage. And especially if you're playing Bounty Hunter, I mean, it's going to do nothing but help your team. And like I said, I'm not too sure because I've never played Snake. I don't know if he has the same type of setup where he has a ton of Elokes and Fulton Cannons. I know he does have Fulton Cannons, but Elokes, I'm not sure. But I mean, if he does and if you get Snake also, I mean, throw them shits out because the Elokes are extremely valuable and you always re you always resupply when you respawn. So, I mean, you might as well use them while you got them. But these were just my quick first impressions of Ocelot. Uh, like I said before, I haven't had a chance to play with Snake. Once I do, I'll try to record some footage for that and talk about how I feel about him. But uh, for the most part, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. So leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, take care.